Selsi, spoken easy language for social inclusion. The event w was organized at the University of Trieste on the 13th of April. Um, there were two departments involved, the Department of uh, Languages and the Department of Legal and Interpreting. There were more than 100 people participated. Uh, most of them were uh, with us but there were also uh, other people who uh, were connected from home. The type of people who participated is both uh, people from the academia, but also people from uh, organizations, uh, local organizations, professionals, associations, etc. And of course, we uh, also had uh, the partners of Celsius Project with us. So we had uh, people coming from all over Europe. A lot of people uh, talked. We also had some uh, and users who participated and uh, provided their opinions regarding what's, uh, what works for them in terms of uh, communication, in terms of language. La lingua facile è molto importante per il nostro lavoro perché eh, noi abbiamo a che fare ogni giorno con le persone con disabilità intellettiva che sono le fruitrici della lingua facile. Per questo è importante per noi eh, utilizzare quotidianamente dei termini facili, strutturare le frasi in modo semplice proprio per garantire alle persone con disabilità intellettiva il eh, riconoscimento del loro diritto a comprendere le informazioni. Per esempio il lavoro mio e la lavanderia mi spiega, deve spiegare bene perché non, tante volte non riesco a capire. Allora più, più semplicemente far capire ecco, le, le fasi per fare il lavaggio bene. Parliamo quotidianamente con le persone con disabilità intellettiva, ma siamo noi stessi educatori eh, a fare molto spesso degli errori eh, nel, nel rivolgerci a loro. Dobbiamo dotarci di eh, nuovi strumenti, di nuovi, eh, di nuovi mezzi per poter dare proprio sostegno alle persone con disabilità intellettiva, anche nella comprensione delle comunicazioni orali. Through these kind of projects like CELSI, I think we get much uh, more rich uh, image and understanding on the topic, which is really complicated. And what I'm uh, uh, waiting for and what I'm eager to learn from CELSI project, for example, is that when different countries uh, have these kind of que uh, questionnaires and then we get answers from different parts, it's... Um, I like uh, the idea of comparing different countries and maybe the whole idea of spoken easy language is different in different places and I think this is important. Um, one more thing is that um, uh, it is uh, indeed quite different if we talk about interaction or then we talk about spoken language in broadcasting or news uh, delivery or something like that and about this uh, what spoken easy language is in these uh, other settings, I personally know uh, much less. So I'm looking forward learning about those uh, aspects of spoken uh, easy language in the future. The University of Trieste led Work Package 2, uh, which was the first um, step, research step, and the first research activity of the project. We prepared a questionnaire that we distributed to professionals working in the field of easy language, sometimes also spoken easy language, there are not so many yet. Um, the same questionnaire with questions uh, slightly adapted for users uh, was distributed to users uh, who are people who need linguistic support when they talk in any um, communicative environment. Uh, the questionnaire was a very rich questionnaire because we wanted to test a lot of strategies that professionals use uh, when they talk to users and we wanted to uh, test whether users like or find the same strategies useful when uh, they find themselves uh, in a spoken language environment. We distributed the questionnaire online, even though we made it uh, accessible in printable formats for 
those users who might prefer to fill in uh, on a paper version. And we are very happy because we gathered um, a lot more responses uh, than we expected, um, nearly 500 uh, responses overall. 180 users completed the questionnaire and 266 professionals completed the questionnaire. The University of Trieste led the work package, but we've been working together with all the partners. And the fact that the questionnaire uh, had such a huge success and reached so many people is linked to the hard work, hard networking uh, activity of all the partners. And so we are very happy of what we got in terms of number of responses, but also in terms of quality of responses. We will analyze our data and what we find will be uh, the starting point of the next working package that will that will lead us uh, through the other stages of the project and to the drafting of the CELSI recommendations. CELSI, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.